All right, that's enough Tim time for now. We're gonna let's go into the freaking. Tim time. Yeah, going to act. Aww, I'm calling that. Man. Going into act one. But I love the Tims. Right, we'll, 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 we'll play more Tim, Tim the ta Tim the Taylor Man at some point or another. Now it's time for chapter four. The boy who wanted who would who would be one with the wind. Yeah, yep. it's the kid and, that wanted uh, to make like the flying stuff. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so far, uh, again, showing off a decent for uh, not so much. Here, hang on. Let's let, I realize. Let's uh, let's go swap out some costumes. Okay. okay much better. So yeah, there'll be. Uh, Why'd I have to be the one to be stuck with the plant? I don't know. You were the one who made the silly joke about it. Fine. Uh, okay. And and the reason why I'm getting these costumes for the first part. Here we go. Oh, well, this is another favorite the soaring of mine. sheep. Soaring sheep. It's silly. It's, it's silly, but if you know how if you know how to use it right, it can absolutely obliterate some of the platforming challenges. It can, yes. Really? It's really good. So, yeah, basically, uh, since we are light as cotton, we can now float across most updrafts. As he does it, there's the dreamer up ahead. And he's gonna take care of some more combat. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, just in time. Oh. For, for now, we got the flying creeps. And dang it, they got they took out my plant ability. And now I'm, but, now I'm just but a random old player, too. Aww. I take I'm sorry. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much business as usual. Just use whatever co costumes you already have on standby to uh, jump on them, spin on them, do whatever you, what comes naturally, and uh, yeah. And well, not only do we have the soaring sheep, we also have uh, totally not the name of another video game character. Who has a <laughs> totally not Sonic ability. Yep. I'm sorry, I may sound paranoid, but did I hear a knock on the door? Yeah, I was on Logan's end. I... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he got called away, called away to, you know, stop this uh, whole charade while it's still happening. That's what I'm afraid of. But, I mean, if it's any consolation, I feel like me and Jordan could be able to, like, hold it as well, since we've had pretty much a good amount of experience with the demo as well. Well, I know oh, I yeah. have, at least. I've been all the levels. Yeah, I went oh. through all the levels myself, though uh, there's still some more backtracking that I need to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi! We were just sorry talking about, about sorry. you. Sorry, I was sorry. I just got an order for a dinner rush. I was oh, just you're ready. you're okay. It's okay. Oh, right. uh, celebration! Hey! Sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh! Well, you can't spook me like that. Remember, we're here, we're here to be happy. Uh -huh. Yes, this is a feel good game. But, so feel good, everybody. Yeah. Sorry, it, it I'm be. getting a little angry. No it's oh. all fine. Oop. Well, Ooh, at least you got the okay. I got it. But yeah, arrow acrobat, which better I mean, feel like is a reference. Better me than you. Oh, it just happened to me too. So, again, I, I, the game definitely is going to encourage like <coughs> near perfect play to keep to Excuse hang me. on to all your costumes and stuff. Yeah. But oh, and that's what I remember now. The reason why, at least when we first pick up these costumes, and likely what will happen in the commentary, since I'm I'm usually the one to pick them up first because uh, only player one gets that cool little reveal cutscene of a costume. Oh, yeah. okay. Player which is something I think they should probably fix for the uh, final release. Yeah. Ooh, there's something down there. Also, you can get. Ghost. also, it's here where we decided to use our co-op powers to break this particular section and gain what's probably one of the more controversial of the costumes. Why? It's Box Fox. Box I have not seen that Fox? one yet. Me neither, well, actually. It's a, it's a little out of the way, but first of all, it totally doesn't sound like it's like an age old. Um, you know, Children's Network that got a lot that you know was the butt of everyone's oh. joke back in the early 2000s. Oh, I forgot about that. It's also it's also an ability that can spawn that can happen at random. Right. So if you notice right there, uh oh, uh -oh. oh gee, oh no, okay, okay, oh no. Yeah. So if you notice there, sometimes I'll, I'll turn it off for now. Sometimes the box fox will it, it, uh, its hat will shimmer and then it will just suddenly turn into an invincible block. And right. once it turns to a block, you have zero control until it turns out of the block. So it's it's a very much a like a very risky maneuver. Sorry, I'll be yeah. right back. It's okay. okay. No Sh should I'll I be sit. grateful that I didn't find that costume already? Yeah, I was about to say. I, I feel a bit like me and Jordan were just talking about how experienced we are with the demo, yet we didn't know about the box fox. <laughs> it's okay. They, they, we should have known about, about the, the box fo fox. I didn't know about the foot the footballer <laughs> the footballer costume until like. I saw this round like that, and that again. That's where I don't quite understand everyone saying the level design. I feel like they found a pretty decent way to hide a good amount of these little secrets in the level. Oh yeah, I also, Honestly, I also I... wouldn't. I, to be fair though, I also get get the impression that a lot of people more or less gave up on this game after the first level or two. 
But it, that's that's yeah. supposed to, that's also supposed to be the introductory level for again younger audiences. It's like I don't know. I, I told James it it kind of make it kind of reminds me of if somebody if if you, if you say if say an adult was complaining and criticizing a children's TV show, right? Yeah. Right. Something we have never in our lives ever. <clears throat> but um, it's why are you it, flying it, up? It, we, I don't uh, think you the, can fly. It's because of the enemies. We, we, I was about to say, yeah, we had the theory that the enemies might be fiddle, might be messing with the fans. That's why they won't let you fly as high. Oh, it's well. that, okay, and we good. also have another. There's that, and there's also another idea that I think uh, we were talking about is. Oh, wait a minute. Then we had an idea. If I go back, and uh, hang on. Oh, we don't have the we don't have the power for that one yet. Yeah, you so need, then James you need said, the said, "Hey, let's take care of that." This. Right. So it's, or yeah, the punk, the pumpkin puncher, and the gear box guy. Well, actually, so, I did uh, cheese my way through that one, and I just flew over there. Really? Yeah, I did. Don't ask how huh. I did it though, because I don't remember. It's That's all fair. Good. Oh, and I see, another, and I see another way I could have floated up there just now. Ah, this game is gonna definitely reward people for like having a quick eye to like see little details here and there. Yeah, like, I um, genuinely do love just exploring these levels, and honestly, I feel like it's two things. One, just kind of harkens back to my own, like, just growing up with, like, games like this, just innately exploring them from head to toe, and also just kind of goes to a testament to how strong I think the art design is, because I do genuinely like exploring these worlds and seeing what new little tidbits I can find here and there. Right, and so I think that... Um, oh, oh, and that's the other thing is I think that the levels aren't too too long either. Like Not they really. Don't, no. They don't feel like they overstate their welcome. Hang on, James and I are gonna do something dumb again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do yeah, this I well get before. Up there. Ooh. So yeah, I think they, they expect you to get to take take a a, a costume from chapter six to reach this one. However, with the power of co-op and two sheep, we can grab it early. <laughs> hey. With a dream, and then we float <laughs> hopefully down to safety. <laughs> Yeah, I did. You did. Oh. Okay, you're good. Oh, good. you did. You did. Okay. Just barely I'm safe. impressed. Somehow we did. So, yeah. And then I saw a secret back there, but we actually actually passed that. We'll be. We'll. We'll have to go through with a fine tooth comb and figure that out next it's time. Awesome. It's like, yeah, I don't really feel like it. Man, there's a lot to see here, and also, oh, also, also ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the to the sequel to uh, Sheep Dog and Wolf that you nobody thought saw coming. Uh, Sheep Dog. No, this is. Uh, I wouldn't really say that. The, the, the gameplay is completely different. Ah, uh, fair. Um, Wolf Raider or Sheep Raiders? Not That's Wolf the same Raiders, game. What the hell am I talking about? Oh. Yeah, like Sheep Raiders, just what it's called in the U.S. Everywhere else, it's Sheep Dog and Wolf. Uh, it's supposed to be Ralph and Sam. Damn it. Well, it's almost yeah. like they I are a Sheep the Dog and a Wolf. That. It's all I fine, see. man. We know. I was, we know how much you I love them. They're, they're my favorite. They're they're my favorite like freaking Looney Tunes. Like I love the anime. So, back to this game. I'm uh, back. We're, we're, we're welcome back. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're about to go into another mid boss after uh, I uh, after James picks up the acrobat. Mm -hmm. And the so as we're so as we're going through this again again the keys seem a little superfluous to me. Um, I mentioned that we mentioned that. Oh, also as we're hearing here. He does remind me of uh, Riala. Yeah, he's definitely meant to be this game's parallel to him. Uh, oh yeah, the more we're going into this, uh, absolutely. Uh, oh, the trickster. Okay, this is to let people know. Like, so this guy is gonna like split into copies. Focus on the one that has masks. Mm. Yeah, because the rest of them don't have masks. Curse you, she horse. But yeah. Um. So while we're going through this, uh, as you're hearing, the game's music is all is absolutely not disappointing to me. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's music. definitely not oh, disappointing. Music. Yeah, like. Production values wise, um, I'm like, I have little, I have little to complain about. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this game, and I wish them the best and hope that they're able to, you know, pull a whole little project together because Which, I think. I mean, I, I mean, for what it's worth, hopefully, you know, fans maybe some of the, some of these issues won't be quite as pronounced once you know the full game comes out in the next couple of months. Otherwise, this might not only be Ballon Company's first game, but it might also be their only. And I don't want that to be the case. Yeah, I, I don't know, want so, that. I know also, for full I, Go ahead. I will also say one thing that kind of gives me some very, very, for lack of a better word, ill faith in this project. It's also being co-developed by probably one of the uh, more controversial... No, I'm, I'm just going to say yeah, right. I'd say one divisive. Of the, one, of the less, one of the more infamous developers, at least if from the 3DS scene, uh, R-Zest. Uh, what have they done? 
a lot of divisive games. Yoshi's New Island and Hey Pikmin, to name a few. And well, I mean, honestly, so, I feel like if those are the only two games you're going off of, I feel like that's kind of being petty. Because honestly, like, Yoshi's New Island, I feel like... I mean, sure, I know, like, hardcore Yoshi fans have their problems with it, but on its own, it's a perfectly fine game. And honestly, I can say the same thing for Hey Pikmin. I mean, I guess also, I guess there's also, uh, I guess for those that do remember, uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper. Oh, I did. I forgot about that one. Well, they, that think... was that was when they went by their original name, the uh, R Two. Oh, that explains it. And I mean, it may, I understand. I can understand that because you know the head of the the company, uh, Nayo Toshima, is the art director for this game, and I'm kind of hoping that's all the all the uh, you know involvement there is to that company. But it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of the you know the the fact that this game is so niche, as it were. And it's more, you know, controversial game design is most mostly, you know, partially their fault as well. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. But we'll see what happens. So, with that said, oh, and yeah, as we also know, there has been some, uh, uh, there has been some uh, strategy to this. So, like, since that uh, balance belt gives you a multiplier, better to do that later in the uh, stage to try and maximize your gains. There you are, dude. We need you to do some balloon popping. Yeah, give us the balloons, the balloons. Okay. There we go. Statue. Just like that. We almost got enough for the obligatory non-reward we'll get for completing all of them. Well, considering yeah. this is only the demo, and, it only, and we only get to go to four levels. Yeah, because yeah, I was about to say, like, the... Yay! Because it's like the, the ones that you unlock for chapters four and six are the only ones you can unlock in this demo. I mean, if, yep. it, if it means anything, this is def this is far from a nothing demo, like, say, Sonic Forces was, where you only got to spend, like, one minute in Green Hill Zone before it just yeah. ends. Yeah, by the way, anybody who said that uh, Sonic for that Sonic 06 is similar to this game and its game feel, um, please recheck, uh, like, how that game actually ran, because I can assure you, as someone who played it for this channel, it does not run that bad. Yeah. I would, as I told, as I told Jordy, I would actually go as far as to say that this game feels a lot more polished than Night's Journey of Dreams does, even. So yeah, now we come to I chapter to six. I have to agree, and that's saying something out of me. But not girl on the switch, and... and that's what counts. Anyway, the girl and the kitten. Aww. This is a happy chapter where nothing bad happens, ever. Yeah, we're well, really <laughs> put it that way, okay? Let's go through this okay. happy mirror. Don't, uh, Don't watch the intro to this yet, for yet for the love of God. I know. Although, although they, although ba the, the Balan Wonder World Twitter does have a lot of these little like little story previews. I think oh, yeah. they've already. Oh. I, I think they've already shown off at least the first half of them. Yeah, they showed off the first six. I think my favorite is the one with the girl and the bugs. Oh yeah, I gotta watch that later. That one was so, interesting. One of the more outright fucked up of them is the one with the girl and the dolphin. I was thinking that too. Oh, yeah, that yeah. one's just like Echo finally gets his revenge. <laughs> Gear Prince. <laughs> Clockwork oh. Knight. Um, oh, okay, so I was talking with Jordy about this a little while ago, and I realized okay, I will say a couple negatives uh, or at least things I wish that they would change is, so the other day I was looking at, so all these characters that are seen dancing and stuff around, and here I was trying to rotate the stick. You have to but hold you have it to completely actually, left to right. Like hold it yeah, to the right. Oh yeah, yeah. It, sh it should be mentioned that this, by this point we, we we were actually getting we were starting to you know play this game blind because uh, we didn't even ta tackle this level up until our you know recorded That's fine. Run. No, it's fine. We found some good stuff and oh, there we go. Yeah, I went uh, through it blind so too. Same. I uh, but like but like rooms like this, I like how this room looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Nice. We're literally Reflection. in the clock tower. Yep. And oh crap, more enemies. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm were you saying about take negatives? To trip up the box, fox. Hi. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. Every time you say that, I always think of Fox Box. Uh, Foxy. That's exactly what James was thinking of. Oh, help me. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, you, you were. Stood there frozen. Anyway, uh, Logan, was, you were talking about power. Like... Anyway, Logan, you were talking about problems. You want them to fix? Uh, that I would love if they. I know. I realize now why it happens, though. I would love if that not if every NPC model didn't fade away as you got close to them. But it I didn't now know. Me that much. But I realize, well, because I want to be able to, like, you know, watch them up close as they're dancing. Like, here's that little girl again. Except, uh, James, I realize, I think I realize now why they react like that as we break this platforming. Hmm. Excuse us. Yeah, look. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I think I realize. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Oops. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I think I know. I think I know why they disappear, and I think it's literally well, that so right that... there is also now that I think about it, can also be broken with co-op because one person can stay on that switch and the other can get the egg that's in there. Yeah, I figured stay that tuned. out too. 
stay tuned, um, is that uh, uh, I think the reason why they haven't fate. Oops. Oof. You were saying? How did you, you right down there? Fade <laughs> land. Like... Cool. He's okay. Fade so land. If there is a reason okay. why they do that, I think it's because it allows them to not have to code in collision. For the I mean, NPCs. I wouldn't be surprised if that's part of it. Although, I guess there's if there was one thing I could definitely say, I think, you know, the whole illusion of them disappearing could have been handled better. Yeah. Or I mean, this is also a something. dream world, so I think they met, they also probably did that on purpose because, you know, it's a dream world. Well, yeah, a dream world, both a dream world and a little, and again, part of a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. yeah. A big performance for us to help out with. Uh, other than that, um, Celie, what have you been thinking of this all so far? Uh, you're you being the one, you being the only one of us who hasn't tried the demo yet. Well, now I want to try the demo after looking at this. Like I said in the last part, it's a very it, it harkens back. Some okay, here's another thing. Uh, a friend of mine, quote unquote, said that this kind of reminds them of a platformer from like the N64 era, and I'm like, is that a bad thing? I could see that. I mean, like with the I don't open, think like, it's, this kind of, like the, like for example, this reminds me of TikTok Clock from Super Mario 64. Only yeah. not as uh, hard. That bu bullshit. I will yeah. one one thing I can definitely say that I've heard from a, heard a friend talk about is that this game can be very much this nah. game is very much the you know the textbook definition of a B rate of a B rated platform or something along the lines of say again a lot of Sega's endeavors as well as like. Um, I mean, even a more recent example, uh, Super Lucky's Tale. Ah, uh, now oh, this yeah. is reminding me. This is reminding me of a uh, of uh, uh, Palace of Winds from Minish Cap. Oh, also, I will say that. right now. Now James, I want to see Minish Cap in a 3D remake. That'd be so cool. James, what are you doing? Yeah, I was about to say. James, you know, it's still moving. James, James, James I can do it. Oh, oh I can do it. Anyway, all James, I was I don't gonna think say you're is gonna... that, like, all I was gonna say is that, like, James, I do believe. That. I can I can count on multiple hands how many people you infuriated by saying Super Lucky's Tale is a B-rated platformer. Well, it is. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was meant to be one made with the mentality of those kinds of games that don't aren't quite triple like triple A, but not quite indie. Well, I say and then, that surprise, surprise. I, it actually is really good. Yeah, I was about to say like I say that as if I say that as if people would be offended. Like they think, oh, it's just a B-tier game, taking that as an insult, even though it's not really meant to be. No, it's like have you never have you never how many how many of you uh, you that wa that are watching this channel right now how long how, how many of you were actually growing up back in the 2000s to know what those even are? Yeah, all right, get off there, James. Okay. <laughs> see, like, yeah, he's basically tales from Sonic Two. Yeah. Um, so as we're getting closer to this, also worth no mentioning uh, is that uh, whoever's player two does rock a slightly altered uh, color scheme, like even mm -hmm. outside of just you know the typical hair or skin color. Oh, so that so that so that isn't what default Leo looks like. No, nope. nope. that's 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 for the sake of player two. Huh. Hey, go. hello, little girl. Can you help Hi. us? I guess you can. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is us learning that over here, we're going to need to come back with another power-up. Because I was like, yeah, we're not yeah. going to reach it. Mm -hmm. And I said, before we throw away our lives by jumping for it. I, we I totally ran could've. away as also, soon as I saw throw, that. You throw away our best suits? Also, uh, yeah. I don't know if you went back for it, but those stairs that were behind the building there, in order to get... I was about to say, yeah, you need the sheep to get there, but it does take a bit of, like, timing and practice. Oh, so, okay, so, okay, so the cheese method that I found wasn't... Because here, like, if you start sliding, you keep sliding. Yeah. Um, Basically, what you want okay, to so do I, is, like... I'll, I'll show it that off That definitely here. gives me Mario 64 here. vibes. And I was like, don't worry, Hype. You can say while I'm doing it, because I thought I was cheesing it, but if this is actually how you're supposed to do it, then, okay. Yeah, basically, what oh. you want to do is, like, every time it... You have to, like, count in your head, like, one, two, three. Then you have to hold the hover there. And, yeah, it's a little bit tedious, but it's the only way I can think of where you can actually get up there quickly. Yeah. Boy, howdy, do I wish I had this in Champions oh, World! Oh, that's how you... Oh! That's how I did it, anyway. I, wish I, I don't know if it's. That. I don't know if it's intended, because bear in mind, I had to pick... I had to take this costume with me from Act 4, or Chapter 4, but, uh... uh yeah, Act 2E, or whatever, but this ballot bout... This time it's a battle, be <gasps> battle between balance. <laughs> they finally and, get the battle. Yeah. And yeah, I will say, like, watching the two of them, like, you know, more or less play off each other. Yeah, I, I really do like Balan's whole, like, proud demeanor between him and Lance's more, like, serious, like, 
intimidation factor. Right, because you know you, you gotta have you gotta have a you always gotta have a clash between light and darkness. And... Nope. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh. It's big, big, yeah, no, it, it's gonna be fun. No, I, I, I will admit, I had, I, I was having fun with this game, and I don't, I don't, I do not feel bad for doing so. I realized a lot of this commentary has been me pressing that uh, thing forward a bit. So uh, beyond that, uh, I guess oh, the, I, I'm also glad that this demo showed me that uh, the co-op would work pretty seamlessly. I was worried that with this being a more recent game and in 3D that Parsec would kind of, you know, sputter, but we more or less had a very smooth experience rocking it. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's great. Are you trying to make me dizzy? Depends. Is no. it working? <laughs> Not maybe this will. Peekaboo! <laughs> Punch. Go, go, Gadget Punch! You just did that with your hand normally. But it worked. And pretty much like like all the other Balan Bouts, it ends with this moment of where you have to destroy like the big rock at the end of it. Although I had a funny instance where when I tried it, I accidentally like timed this wrong. He ends up like just like bouncing off of it, kind of like how Sonic bounced off that wall in Generations before the Egg Robot. Oh yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't like think we brought... I don't think we brought this up yet. The one thing I really do not like about these is the fact that if you want to get this, the uh, statue dedicated to these things, it has to be a perfect run. Yeah, absolutely yeah. perfect. I mean, granted, it's not really that hard to get a perfect run, but yeah. I and I guess what also makes it annoying is that what well, makes it annoying for me is that if you mess up, you literally have to replay the level in order to get back to that point. Yeah, in order that, to that's have what attempt. annoys me. And one thing that I did. I don't know if my copy was just warped or if it actually is the case. When I went back oh. to this level to try and redo that Balan Bounce so I can get him, for some reason the hat went spawn. Really? Yeah. Weird. That, that is odd. And they, they, that, okay, that may be something just with the demo, but yeah. So here we have Rain Man. Literally. Yeah, you're just punching oh. with you're just punching with your with your extended extendable extendable fists. Yep. yep. That. And it's like you punch once, you can do like a combo if you rapidly press the button. And if you can tell by the far reach, it can not only reach enemies a good distance, it can also grab items a good distance. Which is why we're yeah. going back to that one uh, statue that's literally just suspended in midair. Yep, yeah, and we'll just take care of that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm curious to see how the other costumes are handled. I, I, I still am not... Uh, Okay, oh, nice. Oh, that was close. I'm nice. Full steam ahead. I am also still not against uh, all these the costume mechanics. It, it does remind me of Puppeteer, but Puppeteer's heads um, were more so for show. Like the pup, like the heads themselves didn't actually affect gameplay. It just was. Oh, do you have this key for this lock? Oh, this key is a pumpkin-headed shaped key or whatever a lock, and so you need to pumpkin head for that but here like there's a lot more utility to them and i i think mm -hmm. that's what will make it a little more interesting i do oh, i do yeah. still i mean as much as i am looking forward to this you know opinion may be damned as it may be i do think it is still a boneheaded move to make have all of your actions be tied to one button I, like, I, I, it's not, not I, to I say it can't not to say it can't work but at the same time there's also a matter of like i well, a basic jump function would be, you know, appropriate, and then have the other button just be tied to the costume's actions, kind of like Kirby. Yeah, and so yeah, here's, here's how you could use it both in order to, like, have combat while moving, which is neat. Again, co-op seems to... Re uh, just off the top of my head, if there's anyone who's gonna, if there's anyone who's gonna be thinking of speedrunning this game, it's gonna have to be done with co-op, I think is the best yeah. way to get yeah. this game. Yeah, we but strongly just, encourage uh, that. Cruise, oh, but anyway. Oh, nuts. That was some slippery to see how going on there. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I, 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 I kind of wish the characters there. would move that fast naturally. <laughs> yeah, there were fast. times where I so, kept falling down in some of the levels, especially the aviator one, and I was, like, a little frustrated. So, so there are some quality of life improvements that can be made. Like, I agree with James in that they should maybe have, like, a sim maybe have, like, the option to, like, choose between two different control schemes, like, simple or advanced, if, say, you are more experienced with gaming and would like a dedicated jump button at all times. Yes. Um, that would be appreciated. Uh, oh, this painting will switch between two different ones. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think that, um, let's go. I think that, um, on, I spy a chance for cheese. cheese. 
Because, <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to come here and use the ground I pound actually like ability. the backtracking in this section. How dare you mock me? Actually, there's that, and I'm, just, <laughs> and I'm just thinking, like, kind of similar to what Top Man did in the three adapt in the RT adaptation of three, where he sees Mega Man using Rush to fly through the things. It's like, you're not supposed to do that. You're ruining the point. <laughs> no, not today. But I mean, again, that, that and that is part of why I like this game. Uh, why I like the game's level design, at least whenever we're doing co-op, because it allows for open-endedness and little like you know you say cheese i say cre or i said cheese but i also think creative thinking to like move around so like oh i know it's just that it there but let's honestly there. it is kind of like a thing where it's like i do feel like the cheat the way that you're handling this with co-op it does fix a lot of the problems that i did have with the demo initially but i think with some things it probably solves it a little maybe too well yeah huh? You know, you're not wrong. And, uh, oh, another thing I guess I just now mentioned, uh, despite how big and elaborate these levels are, on PC there have been, like, zero loading screens within the level themselves, and I appreciate that. Honestly, like, the same with the, the Switch. Like, the transitions between different segments of the levels actually don't take too long. Not at all. And, again, I think that all, uh, that all adds up to... Uh, the the levels themselves not being too long. I think it's like I think it's the right length. Um, I guess to cap off as we're about to end, you know, get to the end of the gameplay as as in like the platforming. I will still agree. Oh, hang on. Come on, Tim's do your magic. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good. But it's tips. like Kingdom I, Hearts. I do think that maybe the game doesn't have to be sixty dollars. It maybe could have gone away with forty to fifty and would still been fine. Yeah, is I it, would probably say forty bucks. Is it officially priced at sixty? It yes. is. I mean, honestly, to be, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised considering this is also, well, you know, whatever we may say of it being very much feeling like a Sega game, it's actually Square Enix that's uh, publishing. Yeah, it. it's Square right. Enix. So. And given that they had absolutely no shame in releasing a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game. At full price. Yeah. You know, I kind of, I kind of want to ask because I remember, like, uh, not with a lot of people. I had with Royce. I kind of want your guys' thoughts on this. All the problems that people have with this game and whatnot. Do you think any of it might have been like, you know, fixed or addressed or whatnot if they had someone other than Square helping them? I, I doubt so. it. A part of me does know. Because, again, Square's only really publishing it. All the bulk work is being done by Balan Company, and uh, as far as we're aware, ours is. Okay. And with that said, we have finally come full circle to back here. And, I mean, I'm looking forward to when this game comes out, James. Oh, I am. I mean, more or less the same, though I'm also... <sighs> I can't believe I'm, we're, I'm pulling from this, pulling this fucking thing again. But a part of me is kind of having the same feeling Silver did in uh, Sonic Forces, being all I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. Man, that has been a while since I've heard that quote. So at this point, James took a break while I finish up. So uh, this is me showing off what the Tims can do when you feed them all these. And I did not have to do any grinding. This is all just me using what I collected and just a little bit of patience. It took like mm -hmm. maybe five minutes. Uh, but basically we got we want to go all the way up to 500 and that will conclude all of the unlockables for this uh, demo I do not know how these work I've tried throwing I've... Tims on them and it doesn't do enough have you tried like just jumping on yourself tried it so now we're gonna wait until we can go all the way up to 500 did, wait, did you Eventually. patiently wait until 500 yes oh my god Logan and well, I mean, I what else are you, you don't have to, do? to. look so, at this look at oh that. wow so this, so I think that's this is what's going to ultimately start happening is we're going to continuously. <laughs> this is that's all the. Sorry, demo that's all you're getting for this. It demo. looks like a playground. Yep, mm, it's, it's, it's like a, a they, The Tims themselves end up becoming a big little like, uh, they, they end up becoming the marbles in this little marble machine. Which yes, I do remember <laughs> watching videos and like enjoying making these as a kid. So yes, again, some people may say it's superfluous. I think it's just silly fun i mean yeah. it's about as it's about as it's about as you know meaningful of a mechanic as the child garden never was granted yeah. the child garden had pl had plenty installed especially you know when sonic adventure 2 came around but you know this this very much has the same kind of you know feel to it and i think that's well how, your mileage will vary right mm -hmm. i'm trying to follow this guy and follow his path but yes yeah, so that being said that is going to conclude our look at of the demo 
for Balan Wonderworld. I'm still remaining optimistic and am, I'm still looking forward to... I, I don't feel any sort of dread or like, you know, level discomfort with the game when it's going to come out. I'm going to still... I'm still up willing to give it a fair shot after what I've seen with this. Same. Same. Here. Like, I mean, and like I, I mean, like I've said before, I've... Well, given I'm probably the biggest Sega nerd out of this entire out of our entire group, I've I've played the kinds of game, these kinds of games before, and I can I think I, I think it's safe to say I can more or less keep my expectations in check once the big full game comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, if you're curious, these little wheels here with the little blue circles, those will also add up to the uh, timer. So the more you build up that tower, it does become exponential how fast you can make the meter go up. So in a way, it does become its own little cookie clicker thing. But, uh, yeah, with that said, uh, thank you guys for joining us for this little demo. Uh, stay tuned for when we do put together a full co-op commentary. Mm -hmm. and uh, All we'll 12 chapters in tow. Bye. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye-bye. Till next time, everybody. <laughs>